the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Lord, we have come to bow at your feet today. And we ask, O oh Lord, that you will open our understanding by your spirit. Minister spirit and life unto us. In Jesus' name. Praise God. We want to begin our series on Mount Zion. And interestingly, Mount Zion is used 150 times in the entire scripture. And uh, this is a mount that is very significant as far as the Bible is concerned. Now, Mount Zion is, the, the name Zion is used to refer, you know, to various things in scripture. But they all point towards God. And we just look briefly at a few of them and then we go into other substance for today. Amen. Now, Zion is used for the body of Christ. Zion is also used to refer to the nation of Israel. In other words, used to refer to the people of Israel. Zion is also used to refer to the dwelling place of God. For instance, in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 22, the Bible says, For ye are come unto Mount Zion, the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. So in that sense, Zion is used to refer to the place where God dwells. Amen. Zion is also used to refer to the throne of God. So you can be looking at it physically. You can also be looking at it spiritually. And of course, there is a physical place that is known as Mount Zion in the land of Palestine today, where the Temple of Solomon, you know, was built. Praise God. Now, having said that, let's look at a few things, you know, concerning Zion. Amen. Number one, God's throne is known as Zion. And we see this in Psalm 2 verse 6. Psalm 2 verse 6 says, Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Here the father is saying that he has set his son, Jesus Christ, upon his holy hill, which is known as Zion. So, as a king, he reigns from Zion. Amen. Number two. Zion is known as the sanctuary of the Lord. I will say this in Psalm 20 verse 2, which says, Send thee help from thy sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. In other words, God's sanctuary is in Zion and from there also the strength of God is sent unto the people of God. So Zion is the sanctuary of the Lord. Number three, Zion is the dwelling place of God. Zion is the dwelling place of God. Psalm 74 verse 2 says, Remember thy congregation, which thou hast purchased of old, the rod of thine inheritance, which thou hast redeemed. redeemed. This Mount Zion, wherein thou hast dwelt. In other words, Zion is the dwelling place of God. Also in Psalm 76 verse 2, the Bible says, In Salem also is his tabernacle, and his dwelling place is Zion. Also, Psalm 132 verse 13 says, For the Lord had chosen Zion. He had desired it for his habitation. So Zion is known as the dwelling place of God. Amen. Number four, Zion is the perfection of beauty. Psalm 50 verse 2 says, Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God has shined. In other words, the perfection of beauty is known as Zion. Number five, God's salvation comes out of Zion. Psalm 53 verse 6 says, Oh, that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion. It is out of Zion that God's salvation you know, comes forth. Number six, number six issue, God loves Zion more than anywhere else in the universe. As far as the universe is concerned, the most important place that God loves is Zion itself. Psalm 78 verse 68 says, but chose the tribe of Judah, the Mount Zion, which he loved. The Mount Zion, which he loved. Psalm 87 verse 2 also said, The Lord loved the gates of Zion more than the dwellings of Jacob. He loves the gates of Zion more than the dwellings of Jacob. So God loves Zion more than anywhere else. Number 7, Zion is the joy of the whole earth. Psalm 48 verse 2 used to be a song that we used to sing in those days. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion. Zion is the joy of the whole earth and it is beautiful for situation. So in Mount Zion, there is joy. The joy of the Lord is there. Number eight, Zion is a fortress. Zion is a fortress. As a fortress, it's a strong place that the believer can go in to seek refuge, you know, from the fiery darts of the enemy, from the pestilences that work in darkness and destruction that waste at noonday. You can take a covering when you are in Zion. Psalm, 2 Samuel chapter 5 verse 7 says, Nevertheless, David took 
the stronghold of Zion. The same is the city, you know, of David. We're going to stop at this point and when we meet next, we continue from there. But these are eight critical points related to Zion. Zion is the dwelling place of God. Zion is the throne of God. Zion is a strong tower where you can go in to take refuge. Amen. Zion is from Zion that God's salvation comes from. It's from Zion that we have the strength of God. Zion is a perfection of beauty and Zion is the joy of the whole earth. And God loves Zion and has chosen Zion as his dwelling place. Amen. In a sense, Zion refers to the city of Jerusalem where God dwells. In another sense, the church also constitutes what is known as Zion. As a believer, you are part of Zion because God dwells in you. You are God's dwelling place. And I pray for you that God will give you the grace to dwell in Zion and so secure his protection because Zion is a strong tower. God bless.